next answer is Anthony and Rose. It is two stepping Tuesday. So you know what that means. We are posting a pretty cool intermediate to advanced two step pattern, the windmills. Now this one's pretty impressive. It's going to take you probably a little bit of time to get used to the hand changes and all this stuff. But if you can pull this off on the, on the social dance floor, it's going to be pretty awesome. So stick around. We're going to demonstrate the pattern and then we're going to break it down. All right, so we're going to start in a closed position. We're going to do a basic. We're going to lead her over the head to kind of go into a sweetheart position. Once we've gotten into the sweetheart position, we're going to do our windmill. So it's going to be quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow, slow. Show you that again from this angle. Basic step, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow slow to get back into a basic step. All right, so we're going to break down this cool windmill pattern. Before we do, I have a question for you guys. Are you guys paying the tuition for this channel? I mean, there's no money involved. We're not asking for any money. Here's what the tuition is. This is what it's going to cost you. This is this is the fair exchange that we're going to make. Tell a friend. Like just just post one of our videos on your Facebook or something like that and let everybody know that, that we're here. Heno, awesome this has been. That That's the, the price of admission. Okay. Before we get started, question of the day. This is what we want to know. We want to know who our audience is. Our audience is either on this side of the fence or on that side. Is no, today's okay. country music country or is the, the traditional style of country? It, did it used to be country or today's country? So here's where you stand on the fence here. You're either, yes, things change, things evolved. It's 2019 and this is country music now. And we love dancing to this newer music. Or you sit on the other side of the fence is that stuff's not country anymore. It's just pop with a little bit of twang. Who are you? Like, where do you sit on that side of the fence? Because there's no middle ground. It is either country or it's not. We're gonna start from a closed position. We're just gonna do a basic for quick, quick, slow, slow. From here, we're gonna lead her into the sweetheart. Now, if you've not done the sweetheart, you now watch the video, there is a video here that you could uh, learn how to do that. The difference here between this and the basic sweetheart is she's doing a quick, quick, slow, slow, but guys, you're just gonna go slow, slow, slow because we have to get onto her footwork. So we're gonna go slow, slow, slow. Not going to totally break down that footwork or the hand condition um, positions and everything because there's a video for that. But just know, guys, when you do that, when you go to lead her for that turn, instead of turning her normal, I'm going to go slow, slow, slow. And we're both going to end up with our weight forward on the left foot. So I'm going to let you watch that part again. We're going to do basic for quick, quick, slow, slow. Now, guys, you're going to have slow, slow, slow and now we're going to over rotate her a little bit so that we're kind of facing outwards and i have her in this sweetheart position so now we do the tan um, sorry the windmill so what's going to happen is is i've got to bring this hand over top as i bring my feet together and notice i'm going to pick up that opposite hand and then i'm going to bring the left hand over top here okay we get back to that same position now since we're doing this in tandem which means that we're both turning anytime we do tandems we prefer to do those with Shanae turns now there's also a video on the different types of turns you can watch that here um, but this is going to be a Shanae turn as opposed to a regular pivot turn that just works out a whole lot better for anything that's done in tandem so if you notice when we're in this position both of us have our weight forward onto our left foot the right hand is going to come over top. You notice we're creating a windmill. So we're kind of creating a circle with our arms. A rainbow. Because <laughs> we're so happy. But anyway, so if we come over top, it's going to come over top. And then I'm asking for that hand underneath. Okay, so we've turned to where we're facing the outside of the floor. Now I'm going to let go of that right hand and I'm going to separate the feet as I take that hand again. All right. So we're going to do this a few times and the rhythm is just going to be that standard rhythm of quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. There's obviously you can do this with other rhythms, but once we've gotten into this position, we'll break down the hand positions a little bit better, but we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. All right. You can do these as quick, 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 guys, if you can lead that and the ladies can follow that. But I can tell you by doing these slower and just breaking it down as process, that hand um, positioning and how we grab the hands, that's going to be the part that's going to tie you up when you guys are learning this. You're going to smack each other. You're going to hit each other. We actually tried this a minute ago in the video and she grabbed a hold of my mic cord and ripped it out and everything. So like the hand position Living on the edge, is super important. So 
When we do this, uh, first things first, our positioning between each other is super important. Okay, so we have two alignments in two step. We have one where one partner is directly in front of the other, and the other one, one is on the outside, one is on the inside. When we're in this position, it's really important, guys, that you don't end up like way past or over here. So you're going to be somewhere in this general area when you do that because the hand position is just going to work a whole lot better. You notice my hands are on the outside of hers, right? So we don't want to be in this position or this position or any of these other positions. You'll notice my hands are on the outside of hers. So like, for example, if her hand was here, I can catch it on the outside, right? My middle two fingertips are in the palms of her hands. All right. So when we're in this position, my hands are going to stay on the outside of hers. We create that windmill as that hand comes over. Now, guys, once this hand comes down, I've got to get my hand there first. And what's going to happen with her hand is she's basically going to be latching into place with mine as mine is waiting for her. I'm not going to be grabbing and reaching and grabbing, squeezing, pinching, all that kind of stuff. But my hand is going to be in a position where it's consistently predictable. We are not going to look for the hand, so it has to be the same all the time. So I've got to get my hand there first. She locks into place with mine. Now I'm going to take that left hand over. Her hand gets into position, and I basically take hers over top. So I'm waiting for her. She's waiting for me. I'm waiting for her. She's waiting for me. All right, so having the hands on the outside is super important, um, but what you're gonna have to do when you guys learn this, because that hand positioning, you know, catching each other's hands, because you're catching it behind your back, like you can't see back there, right guys? So her hand has to be predictable, it has to be, whatever position you're in, make it there all the time. And this is a good tip for all of the different dances, is that it's consistently the same. Now I'm gonna tell you a little story. When I first started, uh, when I did country co dance competition and all that stuff, I went to this coach, and. Uh, he watched my former partner and I dance a little bit and he said, uh, okay, show me the thing you're having trouble with. We showed him, okay, show me again, showed him again, show him one more time, showed him one more time. He goes, which one of those three ways do you want to do that? Completely different. The reason why that's not working out is because you haven't made a decision on where each step is going to be. And it's like just rolling the dice every time you do it. So each time you do a step like this, my hand is always here. My foot is always there. I'm always facing this position on this particular count. So you just kind of have to make a decision. No decision means no clarity. So if I'm here, I'm going to bring the hand when hands are over top. I bring the feet together because it's a Sinead turn. I wait for her hand and then I separate the feet as I bring my hand on the outside. Now, the more that we can get these to look like a great big windmill or big fans coming over the head, the better these are going to actually look. Okay. At the end of this, guys, uh, we're basically just going to give her a free spin out. All right. When we do that, when we've gotten onto her footwork, we had to do a slow, slow, slow to get onto her footwork. But now we have to get off of her footwork and get back onto our footwork. And in order to do that, we have to do another slow, slow, slow. So because one slow equals two quicks rhythmically, like there's two beats and one slow, there's two beats and two quicks. To switch feet, we just substitute two quicks for a slow. Dang. Goes across the board. <laughs> I just said a lot of stuff. <laughs> He's got something to say. I didn't even breathe in the middle of all that. That's impressive. I'm impressing myself now. So, but if we go quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Now, when we get into this position, guys, I'm just going to go slow, slow, slow. What she's doing while I'm doing slow, slow, slow is she's doing the standard quick, quick, slow, slow. So that's first. So to get off of her forward back on my own, I have to do slow, slow, slow. That's first. Secondly, she's kind of in this alignment and I have to do that in place so I don't progress so that she can then get back out in front of me. So we start this pattern in this alignment where she's directly in front of me. As we get into the sweetheart and I switch my feet, I also have to get up next to her for slow, slow, slow. And now you'll notice we're on the same footwork. We have all of these quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. And now I have to let her pass so she can get out in front. All right. Now, ladies, you might end up way out in front. Don't wait for him. I mean, don't take off without him. It is his responsibility to then catch up with you because chances are at the end of that, you're going to be walking backwards. He's walking forward. He probably has longer legs and he can work a lot better to get up to you. Don't wait and guys don't pull her back to you. 
So we're gonna demonstrate this one piece of time and then we're gonna talk about these, um, this footwork just a little bit more. So we have the basic for quick, quick, slow, slow, and then we have slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, and slow, 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 and quick, quick, slow, slow. All right, so another thing we got to talk about here, one of the most common reasons this is going to go bad is that you guys get out of sync with each other. And it's not just this pattern, it's pretty much across the board that ladies, you have to understand like, and I know this is going to sound backwards for a lot of you and it's going to drive you completely bonkers and insane, but ladies, you don't dance to music, right? You dance to stay in sync with your partner who hopefully then is dancing to music. Okay, uh, but if you get out of sync with him, even if you're on beat and he's off beat, it's not going to work. Like you're just going to be bumping all into each other and everything else. So your job, ladies, is to dance to the rhythm that he provides to you. And guys, you're going to try to actually stay in sync with the music. And that's the natural order of things. Okay, so when you do these turns, ladies, and when you're doing uh, the windmills and everything, um, don't turn. If you think you should turn, don't. Don't turn. Be turned. Meaning there's a communication, there's an ask and, and then a reply as opposed to I'm supposed to do this and the rhythm's supposed to be quick, quick, slow, slow. What if he changes it up? What if he wants to come out early? What if he wants to do quick, 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 quick and do a bunch of those? Like you are actually not going to turn faster than he's actually leading you to turn. I think the best thing to think about is if you think you're being turned, don't. But if you feel like you're being turned, you probably you are, so <laughs> allow so that to happen, yep. right? Um, so we could lead these a bunch of different ways. So there's kind of a lead that says lead, boom, right? So what we've got, what, the way that we've done this is quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. But why couldn't we go quick, 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 slow, slow? You could like as long as you are connected. But the biggest mistake you're gonna see her it, with her is that she's gonna start turning, she's gonna be ahead of him. One thing to keep in mind is that ladies, if you are late, meaning you are going too slow for the turn, I can speed you up, but I can't slow you down if you're ahead. So uh, watch for us, so like if we're just doing a basic turn and she's turning slowly, if she's behind the beat, I can certainly speed her up by giving her a little bit more. But if I'm wanting to do something slow, and she takes off, I'm like, hey, wait, come back. Like, there's nothing I can do to get her back in sync with me. So it's gonna sound completely backwards, but ladies, I want you to be just a little bit late all the time. Just wait. I mean, just, just like Play when you're cool. getting ready to go out. I mean, think <laughs> about that, like with your makeup and your hair and your clothes and everything, just do that on the dance floor. Just be a little bit late. Not, wait, well, not, not, <laughs> not, not rose late, but like just a little bit late, okay? You so, longer than me. <laughs> yeah, I gotta powder my nose and everything every time we go out. But anyway, so if we're here, like if you're just a little bit late, like I can certainly speed you up anytime I wanted to, but I can't slow you down. So your assumed rhythm here is quick, quick, slow, slow. That's what you do by default, but that quick, quick, slow, slow comes from the lead and not from the follow. So we're gonna demonstrate this to music a couple times. If you guys have any questions, if there's anything you guys would like to see here, like we literally want to know. So comment down below, what do you wanna see? So a lot of the things that we have produced here on the channel have been things that people have asked us to do. Like if you go back through older videos and you look at the comments, like, oh, I remember them doing that video like a week later. So we wanna know what you guys wanna see. So we're gonna demonstrate this a couple times to music and then we will see you guys next time.